better run. Right. <laughs> Let's go get some sort of gloves. We're back. All right, we're gonna do the heavy bed workout today. Get it close to your height. We're gonna start off with jab and cross. Now, if you wanna hit with power, hit to the chest and the stomach. You don't really hit to the chest a lot, but for Bob, hitting in the chest means you get solid uh, reaction on the way back. So if I hit him in the head, the head really gives a lot. But I mean, I can power him to the body, right? Pretty nicely, okay? Jab, cross, drill. First person. Next drill. Hook punch. Now you can sit here kind of in a wide stance and just do this if you want. That's acceptable. Try to get the hands back each time. Try not to do this. This is going to ultimately get you clobbered, okay? But if you're a little more advanced and you want to work in some footwork, right? Instead of just hammering from here, right? We're going to hit. Now I'm moving my feet with that. Do a little footwork. Throw the hips. Make big, powerful hits. You ready? All right. Sia. 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 I'm used to blowing out that air, okay? That way I don't get tired. We hold our breath, we tend to go, <laughs> and you get tired quick. Try not to do that. I am noticing you guys are dropping hands a little bit. You get to hit this thing, at least keep your chin down, right? I'd rather you hit, cover, hit, cover this way. If your hands are down, at least don't do this, all right? You're just gonna get knocked out, okay? Chin down, look out of your eyebrows, cover when that hand's not in use. Next drill. Like, hook punch, right? You're gonna throw the supplicus to the body, but if you stand strong, it's left, right. This is a good way to start. Try not to hit this way with the front of the glove. You're hitting with the back side of the knuckles. Here, <coughs> this way. Now, you want to get a little footwork into it. You can hit, hit. Okay, you're ready. Jab cross, hook it up, okay? You can at least do some boxing. That'll help you out. Big box. Get your hands good. All right. We're gonna fight Bob. When I say fight Bob, you should be thinking about him throwing punches at you. Right? I can throw the jab, I can throw the cross, I can throw the body shot, I should move my head. Hook, hook, body. Right? Dance, hit, work. Hit, work. Okay? Now, we are going to do a minute. A minute's a long time. At some point, after you've blasted, you you're going to have to catch your breath. Dance. Right? Dance. Dance. And so forth. Make sense? Yes, Blast. Dance work to jab. Blast. Dance work to jab. Ready? <coughs> All right. <coughs> Some of my favorite drills start, in fact, I'd say just about every one of my favorite boxing drills starts with a jab. Just about every one. All right? And the reason why is because the jab should set the draw. Chin. The jab usually precedes the cross, but the jab should set the chin, which means if I throw the jab and the head goes back, I can then advance and throw the hook. If the jab hits, I can advance and throw the cross. If the jab hits, I can angle and throw the uppercut, right? So just a simple one, two, lead hand, back hand drill. You start with the jab, 
add something on the rear hand. Okay, so we should be kind of in a comfortable position. We should be looking out of our eyebrows, chin down. Shoulders slightly turtled up. Hands in a good position. This is probably too low, unless you're terrible Terry Norris or maybe Roy Jones Jr., right? Kind of keep the hands at least about here. This one particularly needs to be protected. Drive. Start with the jab, right? Hopefully they're gonna either, your partner's gonna either fade or maybe they're gonna palm that away and make a little peri block. Jab, right? Then jab cross. You can make jab uppercut. You can make jab lead hook. You can make jab rear hand hook, okay? Get a partner, quickly. <coughs> you want to turn his head if possible. That sets the chin. That gives you two shots. If I get through and I turn the head right, does that make sense? If I get this and he staggers back a half step, I got the body, right? I can move in on it. So one, two, or one, two, okay? You tear that liver up, okay? By the way, Caleb's pretty tough. If I got to hit him, you know, this is reasonable. I'm not hitting him so hard that, you know, he's going to be, oh my God, you're killing me, right? If I hit him in the nose, a little bump is a lot. So he's going to tuck his head. If I do hit him, the top of the head is not the end of the world, right? We're not nailing him, okay? You're drilling, okay? All right. Uh, yeah, that's probably well why. Let's go get the mouth guard. It happens, guys. By the way, it gets worse as you get older. It's going to be jab, cross, or jab, body hook, okay? That's what we're looking for. If you hit the chin and turn the head, this one's going to be perfect. If you hit and they fade back this way, the body's open, okay? By the way, they might not let you hit him in the chin. Still throw it and still make the move. Ready? You go, I go. Ready? Of chin and hit him with the right. Second drill, if I can, I lift the chin, I hit to the liver, right? That's kind of what we work with. I'm going to add it all together. Now, so this time I'm going to hit the chin, body, head, or chin, head, body. Does that make sense? Now, what should naturally happen? If I hit the chin, right, probably the hands are going to go high or low. He wants to protect, right? So he might end up covering this, but then you definitely had that, okay? You notice you hit with the jab and the hands come high and you're tired of hitting his gloves. You go high, 
When you hit the body, where does his hands go when he's hurt? Tony. Hook to the head. All right, say it after me. Jab! Jab! Right? Cross! Cross! Body hook! Body hook! Make sense? One more time. Jab! Jab! Cross! Cross! Body hook! Body hook! Drill number two, or option two, you're using both. Jab! Jab! Body! Body! Head! Head! Right? Jab! Jab! Body! Body! Head! Head! Does it make sense? Yes, sir. Try not to do this. Everybody see how my hands stay down, my head stays up? I'm just, a, I'm just asking for a beating. If all else fails, if I blow everything, if he throws that big j uh, hook when I throw my uh, jab, he throws his hook, hopefully something's in the way. If I throw my jab, he parries, he throws, he throws his cross, and I throw my cross, maybe we both get hit, but if this hand comes back, right, I go to throw this, that comes in, this hand should be closed. I should be able to do something with it, okay? So if I go to jab, he starts to parry. This hand comes back quickly, okay? And tries to cover. Make sense? Oh. It should be out and back so that you can get this one in. It's not working for you. So that head movement, right? Try to think of that. I go here. He does a little parry. He makes for the cross. I can still fade. Boom, boom, right? But stick to the drill. Jab. Cross, body, or jab, body, cross. Ready? Lean, lean and slow is better than sloppy and fast. Make it clean. Kill me. Try not to drop the hand back into Louisiana so you can hit him up here in Arkansas, okay? Straight, straight, huh, or, all right. The bottom line is, guys, is that we gotta get good at these hands. Start circling like you're fighting. Then throw jab cross body, right? Circle like you're fighting. Then jab low, high, right? Circle like you're fighting. You still don't have to go hard. You should be going pretty clean, pretty fast. You know what's coming, it's probably going to be jab. I go ahead and fade that one, or be prepared to prepare and block that one. If the cross comes, you can fade that one. You might get hit in the body, but then you're in a good position. Think about, it's probably going to be this, this, this. Parry, block, fade, right? Cover, it's a good defense. Ready? Jab, cross, hook. Huh. Change the levels, ready, go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 